Peace Corps at the start was what um, the Director of Economic Affairs called unashamed gap filling. I mean, there was an incredible skill shortage. There were only about 15 graduates in the entire country in 1966. It had about 10 miles of paved road in the entire country the size of Texas. And after we did our immersion and were sworn in as volunteers to get to Hansi, we went all the way up to Francistown, across the Mound, and then down to Hansi. And it took four days of fairly miserable driving to reach Mound. Now you can do it in about 10 hours, but then it took four days. And again, I mean, there was Hansi, we were the first volunteers to ever go to Hansi. When you look at the history of Peace Corps, you'll find that almost everybody who's in their 40s or over has been taught by a Peace Corps volunteer before or has had some kind of contact with a, with a volunteer. Some of them served as local authority advisors. Some of them served with me in the Ministry of Finance and Development Planning as economists, um, basically across the board. And the teachers who taught us different subjects and largely in person, those who taught me English, because they assisted first in running a school magazine that brought in about our writing skills, our ability to express ourselves freely through a magazine, and also the debate club, which brought in elements of communication. When I was taught by a Peace Corps, uh, and it was a Peace Corps lady, uh, I found her to be very energetic, very enthusiastic. Uh, the only thing that I knew uh, people didn't like very much was the way they dressed. You must know they came at a time when there was that hippie uh, movement overseas. And some of them would uh, let their hair hang and then they would chop their, uh, their trousers as if uh, they were axing the trouser with <laughs> with an ex, but uh, when the Peace Corps came, they showed us the friendly side of a teacher. So we, we, we kind of liked them very much. And outside the classroom, uh, sporting, because uh, most of them were involved in different sporting code, they introduced softball. When the Peace Corps came here, they knew all about softball. You know, it was inborn, it was in their blood. It's through them that uh, the Botswana softball is what is where it is now. The changes in Botswana, it's, it's absolutely unbelievable, going from one of the 25 least developed countries in the world to an upper middle income country, all in the space of 30 years. You know, it's, it's amazing when you meet an old lady who doesn't know how to read and write and they tell you, you know, I learned about HIV AIDS because there is that white girl in the clinic who draws pictures on the wall to tell us, you know, what HIV AIDS is and how can we prevent that. I brought back the Peace Corps in 2003. The main reason was the fact that we had this uh, epidemic and we had a, an extensive program of treatment and care, it became possible to do the rollout to all the corners of, four corners of our country in the short time that we were able to, because of the assistance of Peace Corps. The volunteers were able to hit the ground running because of their enthusiasm and their, the goodwill they bring. The Peace Corps volunteer is a partner in the HIV AIDS response. Peace Corps volunteers are people who have assisted Botswana in the area of HIV and AIDS. They have assisted in the area of capacity building, capacity building in terms of capacitating our communities, you know, in running their community-based organizations. The greatest impact that the Peace Corps has had 
uh, in terms of personally for me and for the youth health organization has been that it has groomed an, a small organization into a reputable one that today is recognized for its strong systems, for its great partnership work that is at district level and also at national level. And whatever they do, they do with dedication, uh, with the seriousness that uh, uh, anybody who is given responsibility uh, would show. The Peace Corps is, is a large family that comes and dwell with the families at the ground level and then it spreads it, its wings, not making you do what they want, but just making you be yourself. Myself being a person who's living with HIV and AIDS, when they lived with me, I was really feeling very sick. And being a stranger to, to that young girl and being a stranger to that young man, they would have run away or felt uncomfortable. But you know, they stood as part of a family to believe with me that I can get better. They've really helped me to, to, to draw out that real me. You know, that in itself has shown true character of that they are willing to do whatever it takes to be part of the society that they come and live in. It's not easy to leave your own country and your own people for two years and come to serve in a foreign country and serve dedicatedly and with commitment. So happy anniversary, Peace Corps. I wish them a very, very happy anniversary. I wish Peace Corps has another 50 productive years and I hope that my grandchildren get to join Peace Corps just like I did and our children did. I wish Peace Corps from the bottom of my heart a, a glorious 50th anniversary because they have done wonderful work in most of the world as evidenced by the wonderful work they did in Botswana. Peace Corps in Botswana, happy anniversary from the time you've come, you've always made the difference we expected and beyond. And God bless you that you even do more. The Peace Corps gives us a chance to show a side of our country which is too often submerged. Our desire to live in peace. Our desire to be of help. There can be no greater service to our country. And no source of pride more real than to be a member of the Peace Corps of the United States. Thank you.